un uh, approaching the first mark of this race, and already we see that the leaders have overstood. This is uh, Dylan and Chris Klein, and now the main is cracked. They're leading 81.75, who's in second. Checking out who that is. We don't have 80, well, maybe that's 87.15. The Hingham boat. It is. The Hingham boat that won the uh, second leg uh, is uh, close second here, but everyone's overstanding. One boat's overstood by, I don't know, uh, three tenths of a mile? Now they're lost. But these guys, now other boats are going to see that they've overstood and tackle early. At least I hope they do. Because look how much they have to bear off to make the mark. Eighteen seventy. Where are they going? All right, here we go. Around the mark, it's going to be Dylan and Chris Devine if they don't hit it, and they are around that mark, tacking around and heading for the lighthouse. Second is um, uh, Luke Monique and Sam. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's M fifteen. That's uh, Brooks Reed and Charlie Morris, a different Hingham boat, also overstanding and coming in broad reaching, as a lot of people will. Notice they're not setting spinnakers yet because they don't realize how much they're being pushed. Uh, 1870, uh, we haven't seen them yet. That is uh, uh, Harvey Demovic, Lucas Wiatrowski, another uh, mud rats boat, 84.95, just going around now. Another Hingham boat, Sam Dunn, Dun Trevor uh, Buckeridge. And then we have, um, that looks like, uh, that's uh, Baxter and Dylan. Baxter, Menzies, Dylan Flack, around in fifth. Sixth place, 3161. Uh, of course, everyone's guilty of overstanding here, but that's uh, Ike Schutz, Samantha Carlson, the smallest skipper in the race, perhaps. Oh, we got boats coming in on this side. Uh, are we in their way? Oh, they should bear off and dip us. Can't quite see their number. Ends with 96. We'll see in a moment who this is. Uh, there can be lots of overstanding going here. 3796. It's another Munrats boat. Evan Spalding, Sydney Motherway. Uh, Sydney's coming off the trapeze. And uh, oh, ready. they should be setting spinnaker. Oh, she is getting the spinnaker ready. Of course, it's on the wrong side of the boat. So that's going to make it a little tricky. Meanwhile, our Chris and Eno has just tacked around the mark in about eighth place. And there goes uh, Tanner and Meg just tacking around now. Uh oh, that's a port starboard collision about to happen. Oh, it's a bad one. 3159, attacked without looking. Uh, that's the N Nyack Boat Club, Noah and Pavel. And then 20499, uh, uh, Watch Hope Boat, Nate, Nate and Teddy. Nate Schneider. As more boats uh, find that they're overstaying this mark and uh, reaching their way in. Uh, I wonder who's going to be the first to set spinnaker. Will it be the boats that s get swept high and set later in the leg? Or will anyone figure it out that they could set early and go low and have the current take them up to the bar? That's going to be a hard sell. But I think it is doable. All right, here finally, uh, Jack Jerry is rounded at about 13th. I thought they were going to be well to the south, but they went so far south that they actually found an area with less wind instead of staying in the middle. So they were the first boat to get into the current, current but they went so far that they ran out of wind. That's not that's what I can say about it. Oh, there's a boat doing a uh, penalty turn. That would be the boat that uh, found the mark. Between racing and they had it on the website to realize this was a spinnaker leg. 